our, our sins in baptism by his own blood. So he takes away not just the burden. He takes away what causes the burden, yeah, right. washes away sin. And there's also believing. These girls are believing God. They, they're convinced that what God has said about himself, what God has said about Jesus, what God has said about this world, what God has said about us, about our own condition, they're, they're convinced of it. They, they believed it. And that is, that means they've received the word. Remember in Acts chapter 2, they that received his word were baptized. Yes. So they received it. Now, they're, they've been, you've been able to receive his word because Jesus, the Lord's opened your heart. Yes, amen. Yes. Yes. That, that's actually why all of anyone that receives the word is yes, able to God. because Jesus opens the heart. Yes, this is what it says of yes. Lydia in Acts chapter 16. Right. Who's the Lord, whom the, whose heart the Lord opened. Thank right. you, Jesus. And so we're seeing, with the eyes of our hearts, we're seeing the work of the Lord here. That the Lord has opened their hearts and, then, and they've responded uh, to him. Now what happens in this, in this baptism we will lower them in the water and raise them up again. But actually, the Lord's, we baptize, but the Lord puts in Christ. Amen. Amen. Right. And so yeah. the reason we do this, actually, Romans chapter 6 calls it the form of the doctrine. Uh -huh. right. Now, the form is Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. And so we lower them in, in water, in baptism, just like we lower people into the grave. That's yeah. right. And then we raise them up. But see, the Lord's actually putting these girls, these young sisters... He's, right. she, he's going to put them into Christ's death. That's yeah. right. Uh -huh. And then everyone who dies with Christ raises with Christ. That's right. The death Praise of Christ God. is the only death that is without sin. It's yeah. the only death that is blessed. Yeah. It's the only death yeah. that results in life. Yeah. See, in this world, we live first and then we die. Yeah. But now in this spiritual life that yeah. we're seeing, we die first and then we live. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Amen. what's happening in baptism. This is much more than a ceremony. Right. This is the operation of God. Yeah. In fact, Peter, moved by the Holy Spirit, says that this baptism is the answer of a good conscience. Conscience. So they're obeying the form of the doctrine. What that is, is their conscience is answering God. Amen. Amen. God, God has spoken of himself. He's spoken about sin. He's Praise spoken about God. Jesus. Yeah. And their consciences yeah. are answering God. Amen. And that's that's Amen. obedience to the Amen. form of the doctrine. Amen. And lastly, what this does, this all ends up, this all results in salvation. Yes. yes. Peter says that the by which uh, mm -hmm. the uh, the there in, uh, says of Noah, the like figure whereunto now even the Amen. baptism doth now save us yes. by the resurrection of Jesus Christ Amen. from the dead. Yes. So this all results in being delivered from the world. The yes. water of Noah's flood delivered him from that world uh -huh. that was full of wickedness. Yes, right. Water delivered him yes, from that right. world. Yes. And now water is going to deliver you from the world, from the, this world of corruption. Amen. Amen. Brother Given, do you want to come up? Yeah. Our sisters, Leo and Riley. First of all, I'm very proud of you that you have made this decision. Now, when you're baptized into Christ, you understand that we baptize in water, but God baptizes into Christ. Now, there's some things that happen that I'm going to tell you because you won't know this. You, you won't be able to tell this actually happened. But I'm telling you so that as you grow, you can think back of this when this happened. You're going to be joined to Christ. As a married to Christ, that kind of joining. You'll be joined to Christ. So much so that you'll be one spirit with him. That there's a sense in which God will not distinguish between you and him. You're part of Christ. You're going to, God's going to give you his Holy Spirit. Yeah. You will not feel it come in your body. You won't be able to tell it yourself. But I'm telling you that this is what's going to happen. The scripture says he has given us 
his Holy Spirit. You're going to receive what the scriptures call newness of life. It's a new kind of life. Now you have physical life, you breathe and so forth. But that's another kind of life. And you're going to experience that life at the same time you got this life you got now. At the same time there's going to be a new kind of life yeah. Yeah. that you receive. But it's not going to like be put together with the other life. The scriptures speak about the circumcision of Christ. What he's talking about is he divides. In, in you, there's two kind of lives. There's a called an old man and a new man. That's, your, that's going to happen. You're going to receive a new man. But God's going to, God, Christ is going to divide between those two men so they don't, they're not married. They're not joined together. They're different. And one part of you is going to think about the world. Yeah. Another part of you is going to think about God. Yeah. And you receive the Holy Spirit yeah. so you'll be able to follow the right one. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's going to happen. What's going to happen here, your names are going to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Amen. There's a book in heaven it's got the names of all the saved people in there. You're going to write your name in there. You're reconciled to God. That's going to happen. That's happening. Right? We don't go through this. You're reconciled to God. That means you're not far off anymore from God. Amen. There's going to be no contention between you and God. God's not going to be reluctant to receive you at all. God, God's not going to hesitate at all to hear your prayers Amen. and to answer your prayers Amen. and to lead and to direct you. You can expect this. Both of you are students in school. Jesus will help you be good students. You're receiving that kind of life. And also behind the scenes, the angels of God will be ministers to you. Sometimes you'll have really good days. Angels will behind you. You'll be protected. Now I tell you these things so that as you grow in Christ, you remember these things. So today, this, these things are going to happen to you in just a few moments. Lord, take these girls, bless them and give them as much consciousness and understanding as they're able to receive. May this be a milestone in their life. Amen. In Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Leah, tell the brother why you want to be baptized. I, I don't want just to know about Jesus. I want to know him and to be joined to him. I, I felt dirty, and I didn't want to be condemned for it, but clean from it. Amen. Amen. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus was sent down, was sent down from heaven to earth to die for our sins because we needed a Savior, because we sinned and did not keep the law, and we fell from God. But because of Jesus, we are saved. So because of that, we must follow Christ and praise Him because we know now that we have a good God. And God said, repent and be baptized. And that is what I will do because I love my God and I want to do whatever He tells me to do. Amen. Amen. Now from this day forward, you two will remember this day. Not only you, but all of heaven. Yes. And God will remember this day yeah. when Jesus Christ comes back yeah. to receive his, he will remember this day. Yeah. Yeah. When you stand before God on judgment day, yeah. he will remember this day. Yeah. And you will rejoice yeah. that this day you chose him. Amen. Yes. Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we love you. Yes. And we are thankful that you have chosen these two. Lord, we pray that you bless them and that you keep them. And that they, now that their conscience is going to be clear, 
that they will yield themselves from this day forward to present themselves holy and acceptable before you, that they will be led by the Spirit, by your Spirit, by your Holy Spirit, that they will choose you and to keep themselves for you. Bless them, Lord. Give them strength. Give them strength that they may say no to the world and say yes to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, Leah, before I baptize you, who do you say that Jesus is? Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. That's the good confession. If we confess with our mouth yes. and believe in our hearts that God, that he's the Christ and that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We've heard this morning yes. the confessions that, that Jesus is the Christ, yes, the is. Son of the living God. That's right. Amen. Thank you. 